catch him, mate. Are you not listening to me? Do you want me to explain it again? I'll explain it again. No, no, no. Okay, I don't want to explain it again. No, no, no. Give me first. I'll explain it again. This time, you're very good at talking down to people, but when someone who is as vocally strong as you talks back, it's actually harder. So, you asked me, what, altruism, how do I explain altruism? I told you, hundreds of thousands of years of helping people who are close to you because it would benefit you when they help you back is now in a globalist world, so we have a hangover of this, right? So now we have primal urges to help others in need because it, it actually benefited us hundreds of thousands of years ago. That is the answer to your question, that's what I said before and I'll say it again. Do you want me to repeat it again? That's the just Okay, okay, that okay, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, what, what, can what, I just what, add to what, what he said? No, 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 One sec, one sec, one sec. Just to add to what he said. Wait, 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 hang on. Let, let me answer your thing. I can only have one conversation, one person at a time. What you're referring to is known as reciprocal altruism, right? And um, reciprocal altruism and uh, there's another theory in genetics, right? Both of these, they break down when you help people that you're not related to. Now the claim that this is an evolutionary hangover, I want you to justify that claim because you're just making, a, you're adding a label to a mystery. What evidence can I give you that would make you agree with it? Well, you'd have to give some genetic evidence. Genetic evidence? I'm talking you, you're about... Not, you're, you're speaking about genes, correct? I'm talking about hangovers of evolution. These things exist in sir, our genes. Sir, sir, you study genetics, right? Does natural selection work at a genetic level? Yes. Okay, it does. So doesn't that mean that every single social aspect of our behavior has to be explicable in terms of survival and reproduction? Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. You no, just, it doesn't you mean just... that. It does not mean that. Sir, even if you call it an evolutionary byproduct, fundamentally it has to be survival and reproduction. Correct? Why? Because you just said it a minute ago. No, I didn't. I'm answering your question. You said it was an evolutionary hangover. You, I said altruism is an evolutionary hangover. I didn't know. Now you're saying every single behavior in humans. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to okay, do okay, that. Okay, I'm okay, going to okay, fall okay, into your traps okay, of okay, semantics. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not silly. Okay, okay. I'm not, so so you can answer my question. Okay, okay. Altruism, I is, nice altruism. altruism is the evolutionary hangover. Yes. Okay. How do you know that? What do you mean, how do I know that? <laughs> I don't know the answer to the... What, what did you... I would like to hear from him. Wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, go, to him. don't go to him. Don't, don't go to him. Don't go to him. I said, don't I get what evidence How would you, did you hear? get to that? What evidence? Because I'm well read on the topic. What evidence would you have? What evidence, would, yeah, exactly. what, what evidence would you hear? What would be okay for you? Because my explanation okay. was okay for you before. Okay. Why isn't my explanation okay. Okay. okay? I want you to give me give me a testable hypothesis yeah, yeah, yeah. which show... A testable show, hypothesis? Yeah, you came You're talking about anti-evolutionary okay. behavior when okay. you're not talking about testable okay, hypothesis. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, hang on a second. Raising your voice doesn't improve your argument. No, no, I agree. No, no, I agree okay. with that. Oh, you you're agree right, with that. Right. That's fantastic. So, so let, let me just make a claim and I want you to shoot it down if I'm wrong. This claim of yours that altruism is explicable by Darwinian processes is challenged by evolutionary biologists. Not good ones. Okay, so let me give you one good one, and I'll give you another good one. Okay, good. And if you don't think they're good enough, yeah. then you challenge them, not me. Okay. Okay. Professor Dennis Noble at Oxford, he's okay. an atheist, okay. and he's an evolutionary biologist. Oh, atheist. Right? Because it's a religion. Now, this is what he says. He says the selfish gene idea yeah. is false, and he says it is not even falsifiable. Okay. Okay. Next. Another evolutionary uh, thinker, he's a philosopher of science, David Stolf, again another atheist, he's written a whole book challenging the selfish gene idea yeah. and human altruism, the way it's explained by Darwinists. Okay. And the, his book is called Darwinian Fairy Tales. And what he says is this, Darwinists claim all human social interactions, including the behavior of altruism, fundamentally, whether you call it a hangover or not, is explicable in terms of survival and reproduction, and he says it's false. Do these people that you quoted believe in evolution? They believe in some evolutionary processes. I think that's a, you're never getting my question. I think, do you think they believe in evolution? By natural what? selection? Okay, okay, okay wait, wait, hang on, hang on. These Professor, you're quoting, pro, pro, do they believe in it? Pro, oh, well, let me know. Yes no? no? Can I answer? Yes, you can. Professor Dennis Noble, he doesn't believe in evolution by natural selection as a creative force. He believes in alternative mechanisms such as evolution by natural genetic engineering. Professor Dave. What do you mean? I'm not aware of that. Sorry? One. You said natural selection by trade of force. No, no, no. Na natural it. selection, natural select, not natural selection, evolution by natural genetic engineering. He believes in that mechanism. 
Right. It's an alternative mechanism to Darwinism. Again, I feel like my, my question hasn't been answered, so I'll ask it again. Do no, no, no. You answer, your question has been answered. I don't think you actually understood what I was saying. I didn't, that's why I asked again. So Your claim that Darwinism explains all aspects of human behavior okay, include say that. okay fine I, it explains altruism that's what you claim right think it does, yes. that's being challenged by evolutionary atheist biologists well, 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 that's what i'm saying around the world, yeah. so and that's all i'm wrong. saying and i think that there are many uh, evolutionary biologists who are right but you said okay. it's fact yeah it's yeah you fact. said it's fact people, Prove it. people challenge okay well, uh, one, second, one, second. one one conversation okay, at a time relax relax there are people in the world that challenge that think the earth's flat right that doesn't mean that it's not fact that it's not wait wait, wait hang on hang on hang on wait, 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 hang on hang on Hang on, hang on. We, we know the answer. Hang, 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 on. Hang, hang, on. hang on, 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 hang on. Is easier than Darwinism? Wait, 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 sir, sir. You, you can't make the equivocation between the selfish gene idea and the shape of the earth. No, but he said the fact that people challenge it means that it isn't a fact. So I gave him an analogy. No, no, I no, 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 sir, 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 can I complete, yeah, yeah, yeah. please? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, think, I think that evolution's a fact, yeah. Okay, sure. the fact of the matter is this, your claim about the selfish gene explaining altruism is something which is not even accepted in evolutionary circles amongst when atheists. When you say accepted, you're actually taking a few people and saying that the scientific community writ large is not accepting it, which actually isn't true. Wait, wait, hang on, but hang on. I think your what your conclusion, I'm, I, I have less of a problem with that than I do with your overall conclusion that one little part of it's false, therefore all of it's wrong. And that's just simply not true, okay? Because you can't provide me anything that's an alternative that provides more of the data and explains more of it. You're basically being a, like a god of the gap, so to speak. So no, 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 it's not. Hole that maybe a few people disagree, okay, 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 okay. Do you know what? Do you know what? It's not this at all. Do you believe, what alternatives are you aware of to Darwinian evolution? To explain what? All the data of evolution. So, are you asking me what is the what is the best explanation of evolution, Darwinian? What are the alternatives to the Darwinian mechanism of evolution by natural selection? Alternatives for creation of the Earth, you mean, or what? Or what, what do you mean by alternatives? We have the process of evolution. Yes. Right. That process has different mechanisms. Right. So, you believe that the scientific community at large, in your own words, they accept the Darwinian evolution, yes. right? What alternatives are you aware of? Well, I'm aware of like creationism and other religious... There you go, yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Forget that for now. What naturalistic alternatives are you aware of? I'd like to hear from them. Okay. There's evolution by... And all of these were put together by evolutionary biologists who are atheists. They don't believe in intelligent design. They don't believe in creationism. They don't believe in anything like that. And they've taken the same data and they've come up with a different interpretation. Evolution by natural genetic engineering, put together by James Shapiro. Neo Lamarckian evolution, which is put together by Eva Jablanka. Um, uh, Neo mutationism, put together by Masatoshi Nai from Japan. Lynn Margulis, symbiotic evolution in terms of an alternative, not the origin of eukaryotic cells. And evolution by self organization, put together by Stuart Kaufman. All of these guys. Yeah are atheists and they don't believe natural selection explains biodiversity and human behavior. So okay? what are you, so what's conclusion are you drawing from that? My conclusion is, this is something not set in stone. What, what, the Darwinian evolution. evolution. It's not something set in stone. But evolution it, is though, but it's not Darwinian evolution. Is that what you're saying? Evolution has many different meanings. Yeah, right? no, you're, you're just telling me six of them. Or, you know, no, 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 no. These are models. There's a difference. Yeah. There's, there's two things here. Whenever we look at evolutionary theory, there's two particular parts of evolutionary theory. There is a history, a phylogenetic reconstruction they try and make, and there is a, um, a mechanism by which that phylogenetic reconstruction took place. Okay? Now, in terms of the mechanism of evolution, we have many different alternatives. In terms of the history of life, Lamarck, who published his book decades before Darwin, he believed in multiple origins and parallel lines of evolution, and he believed in progression, right? Charles Darwin, he believed in universal common descent, okay? Now, I don't accept any of them, because all science can do is give you workable models, which are then falsified. So I'll, I'll accept any of them as working models, but I won't say that they're true in the literal sense. That's all my position is. So what would you say is true in the literal sense? 
I would say, I would say sci that's not the realm of science. Science doesn't give no, you literal that's fine, truth. But what is, in your belief, what is true in the literal sense? For me, as a Muslim, yes. I would say belief in God. Okay, no, belief in objective morals. On the creation, on the creation, on the creation of the, life. on the creation of life. What is uh, the truth uh, in the literal sense? For me, for me, yes. for me, it is literally true. For me, that God created all life on earth. Uh, that, did it create it in a complex form, or did it create a single organism, which then evolved into the diversity of life on earth as we know it now? Okay, as a Muslim, number one thing. We are told in the Quran, do not talk about what you don't know. So in terms of Islam, in terms of creation, there's a lot of silence, right? For example, in the Bible, it says God created many different kinds and those kinds are immutable, which is why, for example, they believe that, you know, species cannot change. You know, species is a bit of a tricky issue because we have 26 different definitions, but they believe it can't change. Now we as Muslims, we believe God created life we believe that God is the originator of all of the natural laws. Okay, yeah. But in terms of particulars about, for example, is the whale linked to a land mammal? Mm -hmm. As a Muslim, I can't say yes or no, theologically. Okay. Uh, right? and but in terms of human chimpanzee uh, relationship, Islam makes it clear there's none. There's none. Okay. Okay, in so, term, no. so basically you're saying that it is a complex, so that life was created complex. Because that's, you okay. have to, you, because okay. you either say that chimpanzees evolved from a different ancestor than humans did, uh, it, if, if you assume that evolution is possible, or you just say that humans came into being as humans already. No, I believe human beings came as they were. As, as, they, as are they are As they are now. As they are now. How you can prove it? Now, do you think where, fossils where, are false? Or yeah, or made out. Okay. Can you explain? No that? fossil, and this is according to paleontologists. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. No fossil can be shown to be a, a, a non-human primate ancestor. All they have is speculation based upon homology. Okay, that's all a they have. Non-human primate ancestor. No, uh, a non-human primate ancestor. No fossil can So for example, whether you have Lucy, you have Homo naladi, whatever you have, it's speculation. That's all you have. What do you mean by speculation? Like that, like Lucy isn't... What do you mean? What, I don't Lu Lucy is not an ancestor of human beings. That's a speculation. What, based on... Who says it's speculation? Okay. And what is it? The, cl the claim that any fossil, whether it's Lucy, Homo naladi, Homo erectus, whatever, is linked to a human being. There's several problems here. Number one, according to atheist evolutionary biologists, paleontologists, no fossil can be shown to be another one's ancestor purely because it doesn't come with a birth certificate. Henry Gee here at King, sorry, here at King's Cross, we have the Nature Journal, right, which you must be aware of. The senior editor of Nature, Henry Gee, who's an atheist and a paleontologist, this is what he says. He says to take a line of fossils and to claim ancestry is not a scientific hypothesis which can be tested, but a bedtime story, right? And he says it's impossible to link one thing to another in terms of fossils. Secondly, there is the claim of homology, right? Now homology, I don't have a problem if somebody says, you know, I believe in homology and I believe in universal common ancestry based on homology. But they need to realize that claim is based on a probabilistic framework which has Bayesian, uh, which is based on Bayesian decomposition with nine mathematical assumptions, which has conceptual problems such as homo placey, and they are, uh, they are still further conceptual problems that they have to deal with. So my position is very, very clear. When it comes to science, you can't talk with something with certainty in the remote past. You can you come know, up with working I'm models. Sorry, I'm One sorry, second. No, you no, can. No, 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 let, let me let me complete my. Let, a for a very specific reason, science never claimed to be the source of certainty, exactly. and it does exactly what you describe. It puts forward useful <laughs> models that are used to generate useful predictions. Now, what's interesting about science compared to where you're coming from is that someone like yourself, if you figure out, oh wait, this doesn't make sense, this doesn't make a whole, I have a better idea, and you come up with a better idea, and all of a sudden the predictions are useful and are lining up, then your idea takes hold, and then someone.
someone else figures out what's the problem with your idea. And it's supposed to change and be questioned over time. You're coming from a position that's like, no, all of this is bunk. I have my book which tells me exactly what I need to know and it tells me, which I disagree with you entirely, Islam doesn't say that. You shouldn't question the things that are unknown. On the contrary, Islam begs you to question what is unknown. And it asks you, question, come in from a position of doubt. And you're the one saying science is all wrong because it's uncertain. No, no, That's no, exactly what a no, no, yeah, scientist yeah, yeah, is going to tell you. By the way, your zipper's open. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. Okay. I agree with you totally that science does not give you certainty. But coming here to this uh, speaker's corner, people speak about scientific conclusions as if they're written in stone. And that's the view I'm challenging. I agree with you, science gives you workable models which are then falsified. I don't believe it to be useless. I don't believe it to be wrong. I believe it's the beauty of science that conclusions can change. For example, we used to believe that the universe was like a clockwork, it was a, math a ma mathematical universe, right? Time and space were assumed to be fixed. And based upon Newtonian mechanics, you could say there's going to be that trajectory on this particular day and it's going to be there. And it was there. Then Einstein came along and he showed, although Newton and his theories worked for 200 years, they turned out to be not true in the absolute sense, mm -hmm. right? And he showed, you know, general relativity and the background assumptions which were based upon, which were used to base uh, Newtonian, uh, the Newtonian model on, were, were actually, according to Newton, false. Time and space were relative. Gravity was not a pulling force, but it was a pushing force due to space-time curvature. So, so look, science, it's the beauty of science's conclusions can change. There's nothing wrong with it. That's the way it's supposed to work. What I don't believe in is scientism, which is to take the conclusions of science and to then make them into generalizations and say that this is gonna you know it's set in stone and philosophers of science understand this they understand that all science can do is give you workable models and just because something works it doesn't mean it's true for example a philosopher of science uh, in uh, texas larry loudon he put together a philosophical paper of 30 empirically successful theories which were giving you predictions which were confirmed again and again and again and again which then turned out to be Faults. Okay, but that still doesn't change the fact that we've acknowledged that we're open to change. That if we see new evidence, everybody here I'm sure will agree that they'll go, okay, shit, that's a good point. Let's, you know, let's think about it different from now on. But you categorically state that as a Muslim, because of the book, you will never believe, no matter how much evidence is put forward to you, that humans have evolved from the same ancestor as a chimpanzee or as a gorilla. And that's an example. I'm not even saying that that's truth now, but I'm just saying that you have stated that there is nothing that will change your mind about that. Okay. And is that correct? Okay, two, two different things here. I just want to clarify. One, I mean, could, you, could you answer? No, 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 yes or no, no first no, no. and then explain. Can you? Okay, yes and no. Because no, that, that's, no, that, that it's, it wasn't. It's not a yes. No, and no, 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 no. I, I'll, t I'll tell you why. It's, it's a complex answer. It, it is. It is a complex yes, answer. As you, the gentleman pointed out, the Quran says, "Prove me wrong." That's mm -hmm. one of the claims of the Quran. Mm -hmm. And the Quran says, "If you're in doubt, then do this." It has a falsification test. Okay. Yes. And the scientific method itself came from a came from a man named Hassan ibn Haytham. Mm -hmm approximately 800 years before Galileo. Okay. He's referred to as the first scientist. Even okay. secular historians yeah. like yeah. David C. Lindbergh, he agrees the scientific method came from the Islamic world. Sure. So falsification is something we believe in. Now, I'm not making the claim that I believe in this book, the Quran, in the same way that say somebody who believes in Scientology, they believe in, they believe in that book, D Dina, yeah, whatever, whatever right? I've, I've, gone, I've forgotten, forgotten its name. I have to explain my epistemology to you before I explain yep. to you why I believe what I believe. Now I believe that there are different roots of knowledge. So science gives you a root of knowledge. Mm -hmm. There is also philosophy. There's also introspection. There's also things like self-evident truths. Mm -hmm. For example, the world is real and there are other minds sure, okay. and our minds are, Sidetrack. you know, we can trust them, mm -hmm. right? Now I believe fundamentally, philosophically, if something which is based upon induction challenges deduction, mm -hmm. right? You go with deduction. Okay. Okay. 
and I believe that the belief in God is not based upon reason for me. Of course, yeah. Come. It's something which I believe is natural and reason aids it. Okay. Okay? The belief in the Quran is based upon reason for me. Okay. And because it's based upon reason, there must be things which are testable and falsifiable okay, as well. Yes. Now I'm willing